guys, I am on my way to Milford Sound and it's turning out to be a gloomier day. So yesterday, uh, after Hooker Valley, we drove back to Queenstown, stayed the night there, and now since uh, my cousin here says that Milford Sound is spectacular in the rain, we're headed there. Maybe we'll do some kayaking and then maybe we'll do some day hikes there. But first of all, uh, I'm pretty sure 75% sure I lost my passport along the way somewhere. I think I had it in my camera bag and I took it on a couple of hikes. I took it out somewhere to make sure it's safe and now I can't find it. Hope it, uh, well, now I'm hoping that it's somewhere in the car. But we searched the car already a couple of times. So I'm pretty sure that it is gone. And I'm quite upset about that, but uh, it's New Zealand, so I'm gonna have to live with it. I did hear that you can get back to the US without a passport, but it has to be on direct flight. This will be the first time I test that out. But first, the road to Milford Sound. Yeah, that's what I was planning on doing. About two hours from Milford Sound, we stopped at this beautiful stream that's leading straight towards the mountains over there. And we're probably gonna take, the, take our shoes off and wade across maybe. But uh, right now we're exploring the area. It's a fishing uh, stop, it looks like. It's a fishing stream right next to the road. And you can just pull off into the parking lot. As usual, my camera ran out of battery and I had to switch it out. But, um, yeah, basically we're stopped here by a stream on the road to Milford Sound. And uh, my uncle and my cousin are having some fun uh, looking at my uncle's sunglasses and seeing how polarized um, the stream is wow he's wearing glasses and there's some beautiful rocks under there but it's not everything's photogenic sometimes you just want to have a good time I think they're skipping rocks and just trying to wade across and try to have some fun I probably should join them but the photographer and me wanted to take a time-lapse of that hill right there as some light passes by and shadows happen and uh surprisingly we saw some we saw some rain on the way here but not again that's weird because it's supposed to rain all day you should never trust the forecast when you hit when you head to the mountains because they create their own weather anyway i think 10 more minutes and uh we'll be back on the road to milford sound What's that? You remove the trees. That's interesting. To Why get the birds do? back. Oh, for the birds? Yeah. Wow. That's really interesting. And these are endangered. And the black front ruby, I saw I keep seeing this bird. It's endangered. Wow. The black front return. Wow. No idea. Oh yeah, you should stop there. Mirror lake, mirror lakes. Yeah, let's stop there. Light and ball, I feel like the keys. Turn 
arrived at the Fiordland National Park about maybe 20 minutes ago and it's starting to rain honestly it's a little disappointing that the rain's happening because I'm at one of the stops along the way to Milford Sound it's called the Mirror Lakes and on a still day I was here last year and on a still day um, the views are just fantastic they still are fantastic but you really don't see much of the reflections that this particular site is famous for so whenever you're it's only a five minute walk from the car park up there it's right along the road you can't really miss it there's two signboards as soon as you enter right off the Eglinton Valley and uh, it's a fantastic view and it kind of reminds me of the marshes in um, dead marshes in Lord of the Rings and um, you can actually see some of the boggy stuff going on last time I was here this entire area hadn't grown as much as it is now so this these areas are much taller than they were last time and there were more puddles and looked more like the marshes but um, yeah completely inappropriate time to photograph this because well it's not much of a mirror lake St you still probably get some pictures with the telephoto up way up there uh, if you get close to the mountains it's a fantastic day I mean it's I don't even really need this jacket anymore but I'm wearing it for protecting myself from the rain anyway on to Milford Sound but you can see the potential in this location Mirror Lakes yeah I didn't realize that I didn't look at I didn't look at the reflection and I didn't realize oh man I just looked at the board I was like oh the board fell down so we are at the Creekside campsite trying to get some water for some camping and uh, no Milford Sound today because we're gonna get uh, get there early and get the campfire going and these guys are all about camp camping I am more about photography and travel I'm more about the experience all right let's go <laughs> trying to still figure out which campsite we're gonna choose I think there's a secluded one right before this we got the water for the cooking and Plant material. That's really stupid of me. No, sand fly. Oh, it's okay. Oh, I prevented it from coming in. I, I think we are 80% chance that it's still ours. How do you feel about rushing to I'd get a campsite? It's like 60. Uh, I say it's like zero. I'm really excited. Honestly, okay. sadly, in the first place, it's neither it's there or not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's racing, it's time to get the campsite. Two kilometers to go. That's why I asked you, how do you feel about chasing down? Well, we will see. Um, the campsite. We will see whether Teja gets to say, I told you so. Or whether we get to say, well, we have this and we looked at what else is available. Right? Yep. yep. And here's Mr. Pessimist. 300 lost meters lost on by lost it. 300 meters to go. I see someone there. I thought I saw someone. There you go. We got it. We got it. We got it. Fantastic. Let's go. I will look at that view, Tejad.
So this will be our campsite for tonight. And we'll be very much setting everything up for uh, tonight's, I don't know, bonfire or ugh. Anyway, look at that view down the Eglinton Valley. It's the upper Eglinton Valley, rather. And this looks like a perfect place to camp. It'd be out in the wilderness over there. And then we have view over here. And then this is one of the sites where we can have our own campfire because there's only, only enough room for maybe two tents at the most. And so these guys are, still want to explore. We almost lost this campsite. At least we thought we lost this campsite uh, because there's a lot of people pulling into the other campsites. I don't know why that one was more... Um, they need they wanted that one a little bit more than this one but yeah anyway they're coming back we're gonna set up a tent and then we're going to light a bonfire not a bonfire a fire I really don't know what a bonfire is do I Are you doing a race of who can put the tent up first? No. Definitely not. We Why not? Try to do the... We'll do them together, dude. Rate. You might as well try to get it yeah. done nicely. Our tents blew away last time. Nearly blew away. <coughs> looks, look who looks like a hillbilly from Hicksville. All right, first tent going up now. After our tents were set up, we finally started making a fire. Not an easy thing to do on a damp day with hardly any fuel left. You have to realize that. No, tiyale wa trauta. Anta. Anta fire antko ni kar. Agar antko na antko. See, it's it's burning. Ye ke puru naam it's coming. As you can see, we had our own opinions on how to make the fire. You know, make a patako. Adi, 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 adi. Hala anaku. Adi, adi. I'm helping that area. Okay. Because if the wind is, wind is gonna help it. Adi, adi. Ah, what it lit, 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 lang. Japan careful ka jaise. Careful ka jaise. Aaj maan ka baat ka ho. Ne, this ko. Ye jaise karne ko. Huh? Adi, adi. Our efforts were fairly hopeless until one lone twig. Hot fire. Oh. Now we have to push it back deep in there. But pull. You don't have to go somewhere else now. You just have to go. Now secondary wood call it. Catch it, Alman. Don't do anything. The wind is helping. I'm not doing anything. Uh. So that it, it has a way to go in that right. direction. Number the help just come tomorrow. The country is a good this acre bed to Nalma. If the meal could attend us, Anta pedda fire bit ko na anta shape jeste mana ki. Kana anta hi thunde. Making but fire is hard work. Mm. Kya we didn't do too badly. <laughs> Without the fuel kada? Ah. Kaan le aadi that's the fuel. No aadi fuel yeah. Yeah so we did that. But aadi it's very ah, wet ah, ikada. Aadi. Ah very wet condition. Factor laga zayan laga the. Yeah. Oh igoi go. This is other one. Secondary wood mana okay. ki. One and a half wood. And then the rain came in and completely washed out everything we had done in the last hour and we were back to square one 
now though we didn't have very much fuel left and it was becoming very cold very fast and of course very dark guys if you like the content on this channel please subscribe and find out next time whether we freeze to death or build that fire